So my name is Laurent Malville. I'm lead game designer on Splinter Cell Blacklist. Today we're going to show you uh, the Chicago mission uh, that we call American Consumption. It's actually the first uh, blacklist uh, attack on the American soil. Mission is super interesting because like uh, half of the t of the Fortichland team is uh, planning to go to Dallas, but the other half of the team, Sam and Charlie, have hints that there could be uh, something happening in Chicago. Sam, the kidnappers have been in contact with Chicago PD. Demands. Negative. The only thing they want is to make sure the police steer clear of the area. Why take hostages if you don't want anything? So you start basically on the Navy Pier where the SWAT team is responding to a hostage situation. So you start with an uh, infiltration there uh, through the rooftop of, of, of the Navy Pier. You're going to go through a winter, um, uh, through a hall that had a winter uh, festival, a Christmas festival there. And you're going to discover that it's a bit deserted. And it's going to be, uh, at the beginning, it's a bit uh, like uh, untrained guys with uh, cheap gear, but progressively you're going to discover that it's part of something bigger and that, uh, and then you discover if the engineers are really behind that attack or not. We can hardly see the top and daddy's axe goes chop, 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 and down comes the trees, perfect as a tree. In this situation, uh, the, one of the best ways to deal with it, for example, is to uh, use a lot of gadgets uh, to distract uh, the, 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 um, the hostiles and them or take them down from behind where they are looking away uh, because of the distraction you've created. Screaming no more fighting back, I should have done it to start with. or pass by them huh? and, and, uh, and not be detected. You can also use, there's a lot of verticality in that level, so you can use a lot of pipes, a lot of ledge. Uh, it's really helpful to, to, to take uh, advantage of the environment. So in this mission, we're using uh, the Sticky Noise Maker. It's a super cool gadget, one of my favorites. You're like, you throw it, on a, you throw it uh, from sand, you can throw it on a surface. As soon as it sticks, it's gonna emit a little noise and the enemies are gonna react to it and go investigate it. So that's a good opportunity for you to, to take them down or, 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 pass, or pass by. One of them, big guy thought he was tough. Come on. What the hell was that? I didn't hear nothing. I killed him. We're also going to use like the sticky camera. The sticky camera comes equipped with with a sleeping gas. So from the sticky cam, like you can throw it somewhere, attract the enemy to that position. And when the enemy comes to investigate that position, uh, you can release a sleeping gas that which is going to make the enemy fall asleep at that moment. And what is also extremely interesting is that you're going to see in that mission that like some enemies are like react. Of course, they react to what's happening around them. So if you take down a, a, a guy with the sleeping gas, but you don't take the precaution to like hide that body well then another guard patrolling there is going to react to it and come investigate what what happened with that guy hey you get up You're gonna you're gonna encounter uh, uh, so basic um, basic enemies, but you're gonna encounter uh, one of our archetype that is called the, the heavy. So it's a guy that is heavily armored. He's got a helmet, so you cannot headshot him from the first uh, from the first shot. You have to pop his helmet out and then perform an, uh, a headshot. Uh, he's got also his helmet is a, has also a, a gas mask, and you got also some regular enemies that have gas masks. So, so the sleeping gas work on some enemies, but not on all of them. So you have to play smart with the tools you have at your disposal. What the fuck is that? Someone's spying on we also have in that mission uh, uh, one of our enemy that is uh, that is called the drone operator, and this guy is hiding in a, in, in a part of the map, and he's on his computers and he's operating little drones that are patrolling. They have a red lens flare; you can see them, and those drones are, are, are pretty little because if they detect you, they will they will run to you and and, and explode. Uh, 
uh, when they are close to you. So you can you, you have to use your uh, your your tools again to play uh, to sneak behind to sneak behind them or deactivate them. You can also deactivate them if you, if you shoot them once. You can mark them and make them detonate later because they detonate if you shoot them twice. So what's super cool with the drone operator is that if you so you can sneak by to reach his position and 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 if you um, the thing also that I didn't mention is like the, the drone operator is uh, jamming your vision mode. So suddenly, uh, if you were used to if you were used to use your night vision or your sonar goggle to progress through the environment, while well, the presence of that enemy in uh, in a, in an area is going to make you you're going to have to adapt to the situation and and, and change uh, and change your plan. And when you're going to take him down, you're going to regain uh, you're going to regain your sonar goggles and your night vision mode, and all the drones that he was controlling are going to be deactivated at that moment. Okay, Sam, you're entering an old sewage tunnel. It looks like it heads towards a, a water filtration plant. Could be their actual target. No, the drone isn't responding. Hang on. Setting another one. Your men are after the water filtration plant. Why? Go to hell. I'll tell you. Biological weapon. They're using a disease. To poison the water supply? How do I get the bombs off the hostages? The code. Flash drive on my belt. I, I told you everything you wanted. I helped you. You can't kill me, please. That's actually a moment in the mission where you, you start to really realize that the engineers are behind that attack. And uh, you at the end of it, you have the choice to, to, to spare that guy or, or to kill him. Grim? We heard it all, Sam. Give me a flash drive. Connecting it to my offset now. Relay it to Chicago SWAT. Tell them thanks for their patience. Sam, surveillance footage shows the vans Charlie tagged at the airport arrived here an hour ago. Shit, I'm too late. We don't know that yet. Hurry. The, the engineers have been set up poisoning machines that are uh, putting uh, poison in the Chicago water, uh, water plant. Sam, they're pumping bioagent at two locations. I'll take care of them. We can keep the contaminated water inside the plant. And so you have to deactivate those machines, and it's pretty challenging because you got those, you got a blend of enemies. So you got two uh, heavy enemies that are protecting the poison machine. So uh, my, my favorite way of doing it is to stay perfectly stealth and not be detected. You can also sneak by, like send a, dis, uh, a distraction uh, gadget like the sticky news maker and then sneak by the heavies that are protecting those poison machine. It's actually a great way to, to do it, that's my favorite. First pump's offline. Charlie, how's the valve looking? offline. Grim. It's good work, but it's too late. Shit. What now? And, uh, and so once you've done that, you, you're going to have to do an extra objective to, to, to prevent um, the water plant uh, from Chicago to distribute poisonous water to everybody. <laughs> Facility contained. I think we can officially call American consumption a failure. Good work, Sam. Now let's get you out of there. Briggs? Chopper's on the ground. Let's go. 
The engineers redirected a shipment from a level 5 CDC containment facility at Northwestern. Weaponized plague bacillus. Yeah, that would have pretty much wiped the whole city out. You located cure yet? Your test results came back negative for infection. Just got the official all clear from Chicago. Hey, you're welcome. Don't pat yourself on the back, Charlie. We got lucky. We slapped together a mission based on hunches. You're right. That's why we won't waste time playing defense. We have another option? Defense is what Sadiq's expecting, what he's planning for. That's why we go on the attack. How? We don't have any targets, and we can't afford to split our focus from the blacklist. We keep playing catch-up with the engineers. Sooner or later, we're gonna miss. We hunt them down, force them to make mistakes.